Hey, welcome back everyone. Today we're out on a new lake. This is a Missouri Conservation Lake. It's a lake I've never fished before. I found it when I was uh, Google mapping around the other night. And when I zoomed in on it, what was really interesting to me was there's actually a lot of standing timber out in this lake. I don't really have any other information on this lake. Um, there's supposed to be bass in here. Let me get my kayak deployed here in the water. Okay, we've launched. We're just by the boat ramp. There's some standing timber right out here. I did put my fish finder on today. I'm just running some down scan and side scan. We're in about 14, 15 foot of water. Looks like there is a hard thermocline set up, if you can see that, right at the 10 foot line. I think I'm gonna start throwing a Texas rigged worm. I'm going to peg this worm down pretty good. Try and throw this fairly weedless. I have seen a lot of uh, kind of snot grass in here. Just in a little bit that I've pedaled over this way. I just felt a tick. That's set real good. That's not a very big one, but pretty uh, aggressive for a worm that size. Well, first fish didn't take too long. That is just a uh, zoom worm. So I've got Texas rigged. I got a 3 16 ounce weight on that. It's hot today again, just like my last video. It's summer, it's in the 90s. It's actually late in the afternoon right now. It's about four o'clock. But we're just fishing and, oh, that's a, maybe a better fish. No, felt better because it was in all that grass. Definitely not any better. Felt better though. That thing was wadded up in a bunch of grass to get it out of. Come here. There we go. Little bitty. Even the little ones will hit these big old worms though. When these temperatures warm up like this, this water temp, this water temp is 89.5 degrees. Good night. It's been a heck of a hot spell we've had. And I know you've all had pretty much the same hot spell around the country, but I didn't know it warmed our lakes quite up like this, this fast. I didn't have my fish finder on my last outing, so I don't know what the water temperature was. I assumed it was in the low to mid 80s, but could have been warmer than that. If you could do me a huge favor, folks, and just take a few seconds to click the like button on this video. I really appreciate that. It helps these videos out more than you know on YouTube. Leave me a comment down below as well. What's your go-to rigs in the summertime? I try not to pigeon myself, pigeonhole myself into uh, too many types of summertime pattern lures, but there are some that are just far more effective than others. And depending on the lake body you're fishing also dictates kind of what you're able to fish. It's like we got a little lily pads up here that's kind of cool too. A few lily pads. Oh, something was pulling with me but I couldn't get reeled down to set my hook. Doggone it. Water's a little over 90 now. 90.4, almost 90.5. That is just flat out hot. What I've got on here is a stick bait, Cinco style bait. So I've got that Texas rigged as well, but it's weightless. I've got a Texas rigged just because I like to fish Cinco's a lot like this. I either fish them wacky rigged, like I was fishing that finesse worm in my last video, 
or I fish them like this. And this is probably my preferred method. Texas rigged and uh, let that hook sit in that little slot. This is a yum dinger. So this is a uh, ghillie suit is what they call the color of this. So it's kind of your green pumpkinish, but it's also got a lot of gold and blue flake in it. I've had a lot of luck with this specific color and lure over the years, so it's kind of one of my confidence baits when it comes to stick baits. So very similar setup. The difference is on this one, I'm running a fluorocarbon leader off my braid. water actually has really good clarity um, that's a better fish I think that's a little bit better this water I was talking the clarity I can see down two or three feet and where I'm sitting at now there's actually a lot of riprap out here let's get this guy in the boat yeah it's a better bass much better bass than those other two So that's a pretty good quality fish. Get that lure out of him. There we go. Come here. Check that guy out. Again, nothing huge, but definitely a little bit better than those other bass. So he came right off this little uh, drain they have out here. That's not too bad. It's pretty similar to that last one we just caught wanted to get out and get you guys this video today because it's probably going to be several weeks at a minimum before I get a video out. My family and I are going to go on a vacation to the Black Hills. I'm looking forward to it. We're pretty excited about it. We're going to be going to the Badlands, the Black Hills, Devil's Tower. Be spending a little over a week out there. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Pretty excited about it. So my last video I did basically a one hour of uncut fishing. I know that makes for kind of a long video versus one that's edited and cut down to 15 or 20 minutes. But I'd like to get your guys' feedback on like, do you like to see the uncut videos? Or do you prefer an edited video and take out all of the uh, part where we're not catching fish? The response to that video seems to be okay. But I can understand when people don't want to watch a video that <clears throat> that thing was moving. Darn it. Darn it. Let's make sure we got our worm on there right. But back to those videos. I mean, the cool thing about an uncut video is, yeah, they're long, but you see the action from start to finish. I don't put smoke and mirrors in my videos anyway. What you see is what you get when it comes to fishing. But I do want to make content that you guys want to watch. So any feedback you want to give me, leave me in the leave me that in the comments below. I'd really appreciate it. Got that Cinco hooked a little bit differently now, so it's not in that 
little groove. So if a fish bites it, should be a much higher probability of a hook set on it. If it gets it in its mouth anyway. And one just got it in its mouth. About the same size as the last couple we got. Not bad size, nothing huge. Kind of reminds me a lot of Truman Lake. Truman was built around 1979 or 80. And something that was right out there hanging on that tree. He just jumped for the camera, didn't he? Show off. Let's see what we got. Not too bad. Come on, hook, get out of there. Not too bad, pretty fish. About the same size as we've been catching. Really dark up here on the back, aren't they? This water, I guess you would call it, it's kind of a tantric color. So, one little trick on these. You can use your teeth if you want. Bite off the top of it. Get a little bit more life though. So I'm gonna cut off about three quarter of an inch to an inch. And now I've got fresh meat to run my hook through. Run my hook in here. Doesn't really do a whole lot to the profile. Extends the life of your lure though. And it's so pretty. So I'm in Missouri, folks. It's where I do most of my fishing from. And I try to fish, in my kayak, I try to fish, fish mostly these uh, smaller conservation lakes, public waters. My boat, I typically fish uh, bigger lakes, 5,000 acre and plus, Truman, Lake of the Ozarks, things like that. Sometimes down south at Table Rock, but on Bull Shoals. Um, but quite honestly, 90 plus percent of the fishing I do since I bought this kayak has been on this. If you've seen any of my previous videos on my channel from like last year, I don't even have that boat anymore. I bought a brand new boat this winter, sold my Skeeter Bass boat, and I will showcase that boat at some point here in the future. Um, but I got it rigged out the way I wanted to rig a boat out. It's kind of got a lot of technology on it, but most of what you're going to see on this channel is kayak fishing, just because that's what I'm really loving to do right now. Something about it is just, for me, I got nibbles. Oh. Well, I think it got off. Whew. That one felt good. Could have just been because it was in the weeds. But it felt good. I am not lying there. About the same size we've been catching. Pretty darn close to it. This guy's got a weird spot on his mouth. Get that hook out. Little spot right there. About the same size of fish we've been catching. And there he goes.
Folks, thanks a lot for coming along with me on this one. I really do appreciate it. I'm humbled that you would take the time to watch one of my videos. If you like the video, remember click that like button. Hit subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of content. Until next time, tight lines. Take care.